You were able to have a big impact in game two, even if the scoring wasn't there all the way. Right. What's the next step here in game three? Just continue to be the same player. You know, even if I'm not scoring the ball well, I still have to distribute, still have to be defensive minded. Um, I still got to lead the, lead the team, and you know, at the end of the day, I always can, I can always be better scoring the ball. And But my, my leadership is the, the main thing I want to take, and the energy that I can bring to the team is, is really what I want to keep continuing to do. To. Do you feel the other guys are feeding off that energy? It seemed like everybody just picked things up, especially late in game two as, as things really got I, I think we feed off each other's energy. You know, everyone in our team, you know, after game one was saying, look, just keep playing, keep being positive and, and keep leading. So, and I know these guys really bank on me, you know, being the leader and, and being positive and always playing with the energy. So for me, that's all I want to do is make sure my teammates, you know, I got my teammates back and I, I do the things I need to do to make sure my teammates know I'm there for them. What's been the key this year on the road? Approaching it like a, another game, you know, no matter if it's home or road, you know, we know our defense is what, you know, we're going to bank on. You know, our defense is going to create our offense. So at the end of the day, we have to go in there with a defensive mentality, and that's what we've done all year, you know, at home and on the road, doesn't matter. The last couple of years after tough starts, DeMar's got it going on the road in game three. Is that sort of what you're thinking? Well, we just wanted to get going in general, no matter if it's, you know, on the road at home. We just wanted to get going, and I'm sure he will. You know, at the end of the day, we want to make sure he, he's going to get open and get shots. And I'm not really I'm not really too concerned about DeMar missing shots. I know the thing, the tie will change at some time, and, you know, hopefully it will be tonight. Kyle, your three ball hasn't quite been there yet. I'm one for 12, I know. <laughs> do you know when, when you're about to break out? Like, can you feel it? Maybe your legs are good, whatever it might be. I thought every shot I took is always good when I shoot. You know, that's how I feel, to be honest. Um, but if we, if we just got to keep playing. You know, at the end of the day, it's just about keep playing. And, you know, even if we if I shoot one for 24 and we win the games, and when this, you know, that's all that matters. As long as we win games as a team, that's all that really matters. Is the elbow factor or it's done? Nope. Nothing. I'm just missing shots. You know, I'm getting good looks, and um, you know, I just missed a few shots. And, and they're 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 very well. You know, they defend very well. But um, I'm missing shots, and Demar missing shots, and you know, even Jonas has missed shots in Game One. So um, you know, it's just a, it's just a it's a make or miss league, and you know, shots gonna fall. Sometimes they will, sometimes they won't. But it's about doing other things to win games. Kyle, if they go small, is it an issue for you guys at all? Um, I think we, you know, we. We're, we're game planned and equipped for big lineups, small lineups, you know, ultra small lineups. We're, we're equipped for that. Um, our coaches have done a great job of preparing us for every type of situation, every moment and that could possibly be shown in the playoffs. How do you guys do a better job of keeping Paul George from getting to his spots? He's been able to navigate and get a lot of clean looks and then make some contested ones. And he's playing unbelievable right now. And um, his, his, his swag is unbelievable. His, his basketball basketball playmaking abilities are unbelievable right now. He's getting to a sweet spot, you know, but we just got to keep making him tough on him, keep a body on him, stay physical. He's going to make shots. He's going to score the ball. You know, he's shooting at a high clip right now. He's shooting over 50%, I believe. Um, but that, that's what an all-star slash superstar guy can, can do to you. Um, we just got to try to keep a body on him and, you know, make every shot he takes contested and make everything uh, physical. Is it one of those situations where you just want to have someone else have to beat you? <laughs> Yeah, he gonna try to beat you. So <laughs> at the end of the day, PG gonna try to beat you, and you know that's what. But they got some. You know, Monte can have a big game, and, and George Hill can have a big game. Um, they they got players who can have big games, and Stucky can have a big game. But we just gotta make make sure that we're focused on the game plan at hand. You know, not just worry about one person who happened to be Paul George, but still worry about Monte and all those other role players because you know they do have a, a really good team, deep team. How important is getting to the basket and penetration for you guys? It seemed like in game two, when there were misses, they were at least close misses, and Jonas was able to clean that up. Other guys were able to come in too. I think just being aggressive, being assertive, you know, trying to get to our spots that we want to get to will always help us. Um, you know, exactly, you know, your JV's being there, you know, when the, the, the ball's coming out the rim softly um, is always a big factor. But we got to make our, we got to take our shots, we got to make the shots that, that are given to us, and, uh, you know, just, just stay, stay positive, stay aggressive.